Let's discuss this with radio host, editor-in-chief of The Daily Wire, Ben Shapiro, who joins us here on set in L.A. Great to yeah, see you. Good to see how you. How you doing? So you're, I know you've been through this racket before with how they're playing this uh, border issue, but what, what is the truth about how illegal immigration has affected this state this city, this community. Well, I mean, the costs to the state are just enormous. I mean, you're talking billions of dollars. It certainly affected the, the city itself. Uh, it's affected the level of criminality in the city. It's affected the budget of the city. Uh, and it's affected, you know, pretty much every aspect of the city, including you know, how the city itself is run. So while Eric Garcetti, who's the mayor of the city and now wants to run for president on the Democratic ticket, uh, ignores the 55,000 homeless veterans, uh, homeless people, not homeless veterans, homeless people. 11,000 uh, homeless veterans in yeah, the state. And, and 55,000 homeless people who filled Dodger Stadium just in the city alone. And he wants to run for president, but meanwhile, he's going to virtue signal about illegal immigration because it's a political winner in this particular and state. And for the Democrats to run down to the border, I'm going down there tomorrow, they're running down to the border and like, oh, what, what this is just, we're inhumane. This is an inhumane uh, series of actions by Donald Trump. You pointed out during the break how President Obama viewed the deportation issue. Yeah, in 2014, Jay Johnson, who was then Homeland Security Secretary, he explicitly said that we are taking the measures we are taking to deport entire families of people as a deterrent. That was his language, deterrent language. And now, when the Trump administration used similar language with regard to separating families, you know, I don't think they should necessarily use that language, but that language is not unprecedented. And the fact is that Basically, what the left is saying now is that President Trump has a choice. Either he should release everyone into mainstream society or they're going to yell and scream. Because the law itself says, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals has made this very clear, that if you arrest the parents, you have to release the kids. And that means that you have to separate the kids from the parents. There is no option to keep the parents in custody with the children. This is just not an option under the law, as written by leftists on the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. You know, when uh, kids are put into sponsorships across the country, when they come in unaccompanied, sometimes they're brought in by traffickers, they're sent to sponsors. And do you realize, and I'm sure um, our viewers, some of them don't know this, some of those sponsors themselves are illegal immigrants. Mm. The HHS regulations do not discount the possibility of illegal immigrants being sponsors because it's only one factor. So it's mo more your financial ability to care for the people. So now illegal immigrants are sponsoring illegal immigrants in, in the United States of America. Close it out. I mean, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals has actually suggested that perhaps the best policy would be to take one of the parents and release them alongside the children so that we can actually start releasing more people into society. It's pretty clear what the left wants here. And for all the talk about the delays uh, in, in you know, how long kids should be in custody, the fact is unless the left released everyone, uh, they, uh, unless Trump released everyone, the left would be deeply unhappy.